What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nefertiti, and I'm back with another video. Uh, and I'm back with another video. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? Happy New Year's. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Listen, do y'all have any goals this year? What goals do you want to accomplish? Also, are you already in the process of accomplishing your goals? A little bit of advice on that is don't give up. Just keep on going. Keep on going through the trials and the tribulations, through the ups and the downs, and you will see fruit. Because when we give up, we don't get to see nothing because we don't gave up. So don't give up. But today I want to talk about rejection, y'all. And look, let me tell y'all something, okay? Real quick, I'm not going to go on for too long, but this is the sixth time that I've tried to make this video. This is the sixth time. And I just feel like the enemy didn't want me to get this out. That's how you know it's going to be a good word. I have another uh, phone thing in my car where I just can put my phone on, you know, while I'm driving. And every time I put my phone on it, it falls off. Now it's not falling off. And I have I had to go get something else, right? And now my phone's trying to die. The enemy is a liar, but we're going to get this word out real quick. So what I want to talk about is rejection. Rejection. This is something that we all have to face in life, no matter what. Whether you're young, you're old, whether you're tall, you're short, you look good, you're dark, you're light, no matter what, we all have to face rejection. And it's not so much of like facing it, it's about how we respond to it. And I really believe that a lot of people get discouraged because of rejection. And a lot of people give up too easily. A lot of people give up very quickly because of being rejected. And listen, y'all, we, we, we all we all have to deal with that. We all have to deal with rejection. You may have applied for a job or a few jobs and got rejected. You may have um, applied to do some contracts with people. Maybe you have your own business and they rejected you. Maybe you applied, um, maybe you're um, trying to go on a date with somebody and they rejected you. Or maybe you're trying to work it out with, with a family member and they rejected you. Just know that we're going to face rejection, but we have to know how to deal with rejection and be familiar with it. But I really want to kind of speak on the context of people giving up in certain areas or getting discouraged because they got rejected. Just because someone told you no over here doesn't mean that you won't get a yes over there. That doesn't mean that you give up. I love to watch like The Voice and American Idol and stuff like that, like the singing shows. And there are uh, quite a few times where I've seen people come on there and when they came on there to sing, they got rejected. But they went back to the drawing board. They went back to the studio. They went back and worked on their voice. They tried and they tried. They had to, they bettered their self. They came back on the show and they made it. So sometimes it's not always about somebody saying no, they don't, they don't want to deal with you they don't want to deal with you sometimes it means that you might have to go back to the drawing board go see where you went wrong go see where you have to work at work at where you need to improve at then try again and also some doors that closed were meant to be closed that door that you was knocking on that said ah, ah, we don't want you that may have not been the door that you were supposed to go through you know what i'm saying everything happens for a reason you may have heard this before but this is the truth Everything happens for a reason. So if you get rejected in this area, that doesn't mean give up. That doesn't mean throw in a towel. It doesn't mean that you're not good enough for what you're trying to do. That just means, like, okay, maybe it's not the time for this right now, or maybe I need to try somewhere else. So really what I want to do is encourage you to not get discouraged when you get rejected, because we all will get rejected. And the reason why I'm even talking about this is because this is something that I was dealing with this week. I knew that I needed to st I knew that I needed to step out of my shell. I know that in order for me to get further than where I am now, in order for me to reach more people, it's going to take for me to step out, go talk to people, go try new things. I know that it's going to take for me to step out of my comfort zone. So when I went to do that, I ain't going to lie, at first I was kind of hesitant, but I had to keep pushing myself and be like, you didn't come this far for nothing. Go ahead, step out. You didn't come this far for nothing. Go ahead, step out. I had to keep telling myself that because my main problem was this. I was afraid of rejection. I was afraid of someone telling me, no, nah, I don't want what you got going on. No, thank you. And guess what? When I did try it, I got rejected. But 
I didn't give up because I got rejected. So I went, that last video that I just posted was I did live interviews. And I didn't get a chance to get a lot of people. I only had two people on there. But there were other people that I asked. And I had more no's than I had yeses. But even though people told me no that they didn't want to be on a YouTube channel, guess what? I didn't get sad. I was like, okay, that's all right. I'm, I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to have to deal with people telling me no. But just because they told me no doesn't mean that somebody else won't tell me yes. So I kept on going. And that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And that's what I need, needed to learn. I needed to step out so that way I can overcome. So that way I can conquer my fear of being rejected. And when I did that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it again. Because I know that people are going to tell me no. Once I get out of that mindset of being afraid to, to be told no. Or being afraid of someone saying, hey, I don't want to deal with you or whatever. I feel like I'll be okay and understand that just because you get rejected in one area. Doesn't mean that you won't be successful in your life. Sometimes rejection from certain people or certain opportunities is actually a good thing. Because everything that's good is not God. Everything is not a God thing. So if you ever if you ever experience yourself facing rejection in an area where you really have, maybe you are uh, an influencer, you know? This is for whatever you are. Just take take this into context. Whatever you are. If you're maybe you're an influencer and you've been trying to collab with people and you have some people telling you, no, I don't really want to collab. You know, you don't have enough followers or uh, I'm not really feeling what you're, you know, I'm not feeling what you're, you're putting out there. So I don't want to collab with you. And that discourages you like, dang, am I doing something wrong? No, keep on trying. Keep on going. Just because they told you no doesn't mean that you're disqualified. Just because you get rejected does not mean that you're disqualified. A lot of us have gifts with inside of us, within us that God has given us. And when you find yourself getting rejected, here's what I want you to do. When you find yourself getting rejected, go before God and ask God, what am I supposed to do? Am, am I going the right way? Is this what you desire for me? Lord, open up the doors that you desire for me to go through. And if it's not for me, allow the door to shut. But ask God for guidance. Sh ask him to show you. Ask him to tell you what it is that you're supposed to do. Because sometimes we get rejected because we go ahead of God and we step before him and we're doing stuff that we're not supposed to be doing. Now, I will say this. It does take for you to step out on faith to see what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. So I hope I didn't confuse you. What I, and so what I'm saying is like um, sometimes we'll be like, I'm going to just accept this job opportunity or I'm going to accept this opportunity and I'm not going to pray about it. And, you know, everything, it seems good. It sounds good. So I'm just going to take it and we don't pray about it. And next thing you know, three months down the line, three months down the line, it's hell. There's always something negative going on. There's always something bad going on. It's bringing you down. It's tearing up your character. But it seems good. The money's good. But you're not happy. You're becoming miserable. So that's what, that's what I mean by saying asking God. But I also mean by stepping out is like, okay, trying it. Okay. Okay. Trying, trying something new. Just like I had to step out and try a live interview. Try to do something. Try to go somewhere. If it's not for you, it may just not be for you. And if it's and if if it's not for you, just ask God. If this is for me, you know. Let me know if it's not. Then it's not. Everything's not for you. And you want to. And it's actually a good thing that you don't always get a yes everywhere you go, because everywhere is not meant for you to go. Every person is not meant for you to be with. The people that reject you, there might be people that's like, oh, I don't want to give you a chance. I don't want to talk to you. Like you're not my type. You're not cute enough for me. You're not whatever. You're not enough for them. Okay, that's okay because that may not be the right person for you. But the right person for you may be like, oh, you're everything I ever wanted and more. You're everything I've ever prayed for. Okay, there may have been a great reason why that last person that you was trying to talk to rejected you because the next person that you walked into was the person that God had for you. So basically what I'm saying again today is to not be discouraged when someone tells you no. To not be discouraged when you get rejected. We are all going to get rejected at some point in our lives. And here's the thing. Here's the kicker. We're going to get rejected more than once. You know, I remember a long time ago, Cardi B was talking about when she first became a rapper and like what she was going through and like how she would go to record labels and she would tell them like, oh, um, this is, you know, here's my music. This is, you know, this is, this is what we're working with. And a lot of record labels was like, we're not, we're not going to sign you. Like, you're not going to get signed. Like that's, your, your music's not good. And guess what? There was somebody I don't know who it was, but there was somebody who believed in her vision. And look at her now. So I'm just telling you that rejection is not always a bad thing. And we can't get discouraged. And again, this message is for me as well because this is something I am currently dealing with. And this is why I wanted to talk to you guys because 
we cannot get discouraged when we get told no. But that also doesn't mean to give up. So keep on trying. Keep on knocking on them doors. Keep on working on yourself. Keep on improving your your product. Keep on improving your talent. Keep on having faith. Keep on stepping out uh, out on faith. Keep on praying about it. Do not give up. Do not stop. If, if you know that what you're doing is something that you're supposed to be doing, it has something to do with your purpose and you really want to, you want the world to see and you're, you, want, you really want to help people, whatever it is, every door that closes on you does not mean that you are not qualified. That just means, hey, maybe that door I wasn't supposed to walk through or maybe that's just not the door for me right now. And here's another thing. When you do get rejected, don't, don't, don't be like, well, you know what? I'm just going to give up for like this season and next season I'm going to try again. No keep on trying because you may have gotten all these no's and you might get a yes tomorrow please don't allow rejection to make you feel disqualified if you haven't already make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you feel like you know you're getting something from these videos if you're really learning something if it's on your heart subscribe if it's on your heart please make sure you share also i have another I have another channel, a reaction channel, in the description below. Be sure to check that out. See if you want to join the team or whatever, whatever, whatever. Hey, this is on my heart to say this. If you need prayer, you don't have to tell me what you're going through. You don't have to tell me your business. But if you need prayer, hit me up on my Instagram, on my Facebook, or on um, my Snapchat. And just say, you know, hey, I've seen your video and I need prayer. I will pray for you. God bless y'all. Stay tuned.